So you're still here, Davy? Part of the landscape now. I did enjoy last summer. Did you indeed? Well, didn't you? Did I? You've forgotten who I am. Of course not. It's Jane. Susie. Close. You're just awful, you are. Yes, well, nice to see you. Hope we see you again next year. Bye. Isn't it funny? That girl thought she knew me. Must have thought I was somebody else. You know, someone who looks like me. Otherwise, she wouldn't have thought I was them. Davy. Yes, Sarah. You do not have to change your lifestyle on my account. Wouldn't dream of it. You're a free agent. Fully permitted to do whatever you like. However immoral, disgusting and tasteless it may be. Sarah, I have a job to do. What? Servicing every pneumatic trollop that comes flopping up the river. Present lock keeper enhances their holiday enjoyment. Yeah, it does. I bet you're even in the guidebooks. I bet you're more popular than the ploughman's lunch. Sarah, just calm down. This image of me as some kind of hyperactive Don Juan has no basis in reality. You mean you've never had a ding-dong with that boatload of silicone? <laughs> My past life has nothing to do with you, Sarah. Davy, the past is the signpost to the future. And I know that a leopard doesn't change its socks. <laughs> spots, Sarah. Spots. You know what I mean? If you were always a heavy consumer of women, then that probably means you always will be. And if that's the case, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Not that I've had anything to do with you anyway. But I wouldn't. Even if you asked. Which you haven't. Just get to the point, Sarah. Well, I have to know. Did you? Ever? With that flopsy, mopsy, cottontail creature? Does it really matter to you? The entire future of the universe hangs on it. No, Sarah, I didn't. You're lying. <laughs> Cross my heart. And hope to die. If you insist. You're a lovely person. So are you. Now tell me that you've never ever had a single girlfriend before in all your life. Do you want this letter? I'll kill myself. Sarah. Is it for me? It's got your name on it. But no one knows I'm here. Except my daddy. And he's never been much good at reading and writing. He's the judge, isn't he? Oh my God. Bad news. Yes. No, bad news. Oh, God. I don't know. What am I going to do? Who's it from, then? Mind your own business. <laughs> what am I going to do, Davy? Well, what's it about, then? It's private. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, if I don't know who it's from and what it's about, I can't help you, can I, Sarah? Can you? No. So, not only are you the local Lothario, but you won't even help me, Mower of Meat! You're hopeless! Dear God, why doesn't she understand me? Why don't I understand her? Can I resign from the human race? Please send your answers on a postcard. <laughs> Mystery letter, eh? Had a very strange effect on her. How do you know? She's always strange. She got very excited. Oh, really? Foaming at the mouth, that sort of thing? No, Colonel. We haven't had rabies in the village for 400 years. <laughs> Perhaps we ought to have her put down. Colonel. Well, you can't be too careful, you know. We can't have some mad woman rushing around the village biting me dogs. <laughs> I didn't think anyone knew she was here. I got it. What? Yes, yes. Letter arrives, fillies get frisky, yes. The letter was from the Dahlia Society. Why do I even talk to him? Why do I do it to myself? Yes, you see, whenever my wife gets a letter from the Dahlia Society, it always throws her into a panic. She thinks her Dahlias might have won a gong. They never have, of course. Why not? She hasn't got any Dahlias. <laughs> she wouldn't know a Dahlia if it sat up and bit her on the bum. 
Women are all daft, you know. Well, that's another thing. What have you lot been saying about me to Sarah? Nothing at all. Well, how come she thinks I'm some kind of Casanova? Well, you are, aren't you? You know perfectly well I'm not. Well, you ought to be. Look at you, look at the way you live, listening to music, playing cricket, bird watching. It's no good at all. This village expects its lock keeper to be some sort of Lothario, you know, a bit of a bounder, a bit of a cad, a bit of a, you know, whoop de doop merchant. Well, I'm not. Well, we'll just have to keep trying. Colonel, I respect women. Respect women? Don't be stupid. <laughs> respect is something that you have for a horse or a, or a gun dog or even a decent ferret. But a woman? Good Lord, she must have really got under your skin. No, she hasn't. You want to watch her, she's obviously genetically flawed. Mind you, her family have been breeding amongst themselves for 600 years. They're bound to throw up the odd fruit loop. <laughs> you want to be careful about her, Davy. Have very little to do with her, except, of course, a quick bunk up behind the bike sheds if you're <laughs> really desperate. You want to keep your opinions to yourself, you stupid old goat. Crazy about her. <laughs> quack, quack. <laughs> Duck's deaf. What? Why, don't reply. Oh, do shut up. Where's Davy? He's not here, is he? I can see that. Want to talk to him, do you? No. I want to bite his arm off. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> so, mate, it's a Chinese duck. Clack, clack, our old ducky. <laughs> Will you stop talking to that damn duck? Talk to me. All right. Clack, clack, sir. How? <laughs> How well do you know Davy? Well enough, why? Well, I mean... What's he really like? What's he really like? Well, he really likes a cheese and pickle sandwich. <laughs> Would you like the fridge down your throat? <clears throat> I mean, is he a nice guy? Well, I think I can answer that in two simple words. No. <laughs> What's wrong with him? It's the women. <laughs> He's a heartbreaker. The way he gets all the women breaks my heart. <laughs> You mean he really is a terrible womanizer? Oh, no, 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 no. He's very good at it. <laughs> Come the end of the summer, he can hardly stand up. That's disgusting. Well, if you're doing it properly. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. Morning, dear. How are you? Terrible. Nothing trivial, I hope. <laughs> what does she want? She wanted to know if Davy was a nice bloke. I knew it. She's after him. I doubt it. Why? She's expecting a visitor. How do you know? Well, I was bringing this letter, see, addressed to her from the post office, when on the way the envelope sort of come unstuck. And, well, because of that, see, the letter which was in the side, it, it, it fell out. <laughs> and as it was fluttering to the ground, I, uh, I caught a glimpse of its contents. <laughs> You're disgraceful, reading other people's letters. What it say? Well. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> what were you listening to? The 1812 Overture. <laughs> Could I have a wee word? Fire away. letter this morning. Did you? Well, you know I did. You gave it to me. So I did. It was from a man. Was it? Yes. A man. A man? That's what I said. I got a letter from a man. Are you saying that you got a letter from a man? <laughs> yes. So you didn't get a letter from a woman? I got a letter from a man. I think I've got that now. Well? Well what? 
Well, and you're asking yourself who this man is? Where does he fit into the scheme of things? No. <laughs> well, you should be. Should I? Well, it might be important. Is it? That's what I'm asking you. Well, if I don't know the question, Sarah, I can't give you an answer. Oh, for God's sake! What do you think about me getting a letter from my fiancé? Your what? Fiancé. I thought it was all off. Oh, it is. With him. With whom? With that fiancé. But I'm not sure about this one. <laughs> You've had two fiancés? No. Six. <coughs> I think I want to be somewhere else. Or nine, if you count Nigel. Nigel? Yes. I've been engaged to him four or five times. We first got engaged when I was nine, then it became a sort of seasonal thing. So are you engaged to him at the moment? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been quite some time since we last got engaged and I can't remember whether I broke it off or not. Anyway, he's coming here tomorrow, so I'll ask him. And Nigel is coming here? Yes. Not put out or anything, are you? Of course not. No. Why should I be? No reason. So, if you and this Nigel find out that you are engaged, I mean, you never know, he might have written it down. <laughs> <laughs> are you intending to marry him? What do you think I should do? You can't ask me that. Why not? It's a major decision in your life, Sarah. You can't ask me to decide it for you. Besides, I might be biased. Really? It's your life, Sarah. I don't know if I can cope with life, let alone marriage. Well, then don't. But what if no one else ever asks me? Desperation is no basis for a marriage, Sarah. Nigel's very reliable. What's he do? Diplomatic Corps. <laughs> You're kidding. What? You as a diplomat's wife? What's wrong with that? Oh, nothing. Nothing, sorry. I'm sure NATO could handle it. <laughs> but you don't think I could handle it? Of course you could. You can do whatever you like. You think I'd be hopeless? No. You think I'd go bananas and, and bite an ambassador? I'm sure you wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. And I don't need you to tell me how to run my life. I didn't! In fact, I think you've got a bloody nerve. How dare you be rude about Nigel? Sarah! You've never even met him. I'll marry him if I want to. Sucks to you. Go ahead, see if I care. I wouldn't care if you did care. Well, I don't care, so there. See if I care. I'll just go away. I'm going. Fine, goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye again. Goodbye. Anything the matter, dear? Oh, shut up, you great boy! <laughs> He's not happy. And we must keep him that way. That's nice of you, Betty. we got to make sure this Nigel person takes her away with him. Why is that? Because she's bad for Davy. Because she's bad for you, you mean? She'd throw you out. Why? Because you're such a horrible person, Betty. <laughs> You'd go too. Why? Because women always try and get rid of their blokes' bachelor friends. In case they lead them astray. Ah. Ah. That'd be right. I am known round here as a bit of a raver. <laughs> Last parish dance, the vicar's aunt said I knew how to get on down. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, come on, Deirdre. <laughs> 32 brushes each way. Come on. Look at, the, look at the stains on your teeth. You've been kissing that vicar again. Come on. Excuse me. What? 
Excuse me. Oh. Hello. I'm looking for a boat. Ah, kind of the right place then. Well, hey, any boats attracted to water? Miss Sarah McDonald's boat. Oh, yes. You must be the Nigel. Come to take her away. Welcome, sir. Welcome indeed. Welcome, sir. Welcome, sir, indeed. Please allow me to grovel in the dirt in appreciation of this noble gesture, what you are making for the local community. Thank you, sir. If you'd like to just step, step this way, sir. What a ghastly place. What's so funny? <laughs> Thank you, my man. I think we'll take this one on board, shall we, my dear? Good idea. Isn't this a ghastly place? Frightful, Nigel. Simply frightful. And as for the natives, <laughs> yuck! <laughs> Nothing new. Just sitting on her boat, chatting, laughing. Are they touching? Touching what? <laughs> Each other, you fool. Oh, just their knees as they sit, looking into each other's eyes. Oh, isn't that nice? What? He just gave ever such a gentle kiss on the forehead. <laughs> and she hit him with the bottle? No. Why not? She's too busy running her fingers down his manly jaw. Well, that shouldn't take long. He's got no chin. <laughs> oh! Oh! They've just finished their wine and they've thrown the glasses over their shoulders. Oh, they've dashed down below decks. Together? I think for what they've got in mind, togetherness is the operative word. <laughs> Here. The boat's rocking. <laughs> not in my bit of river, it's not. <laughs> Do it. There's my thunder flashes. Davy, Davy, you can't do that. Just because she's chosen to spend the afternoon below decks with her beloved. This will slow him down a bit. <laughs> They're coming back. Go on. Here they come. Roger Buchanan, how do you do? Davy Jackson, nice to meet you. <laughs> it's 
Sorry. How's Nigel? Bit damp and shocked. Still trying to work out why there was an air raid in the middle of Oxfordshire. Yeah, well... Look, I don't want to pry into the workings of a mind obviously far more disturbed than mine. But, you know, why, Davy? Why what? Why did you do it? We had a wee disagreement, but it was hardly enough to nuke me. I was trying to save you. Save me? With dynamite? <laughs> My God. I thought I had trouble with reason and logic. I was trying to save you from that ravaging beast who was about to have his terrible way with you. Ravaging beast? Nigel couldn't ravage the skin off a rice pudding. <laughs> he was seducing you. He wouldn't know the meaning of the word. His idea of deep intimacy is to let you look in his stamp album. Sarah, I'm not stupid. You were seen sipping wine, kissing him, tossing your glass over your shoulder. I'm Sarah MacDonald, not Anna Bloody Karenina. <laughs> Who saw all this? Tom. Tom. I'll bloody kill him. I'll help you. He's been nobbled by Betty. Look, I promise you, there was nothing going on out there in that boat. Cross my heart. What's that? It's my hand. What's it doing there? <laughs> I always keep it there. <laughs> Stops my arm fraying. The ring, Sarah. Oh! You mean the ring? What's it doing there? Just having a little twinkle. <laughs> It's an engagement ring. Yes, well, I suppose it is. Nigel gave it to you, did he? Eh, uh, sort of. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you. Thank you. I hope you will be very, very happy. So do I. Davy? Yes? I'm not a fruit machine. <laughs> will you stop cranking my handle? Oh, sorry. So, where's Nigel's next posting? Venice, I think. I'm sure you'll be very happy there. Why would I go there? Well, you're marrying the man. You may as well live with him. <laughs> Who says I'm marrying him? You did. I did not. Sarah, you're wearing an engagement ring. That's, that's fairly indicative of an impending marriage. No, it isn't. It is, Sarah. I know about these things. He wasn't giving me a ring. He was giving me back a ring. What? It's mine. Last time we got engaged, I proposed to him. My turn to buy the ring. So he doesn't want to marry you? Well, if he does, he's got a funny way of showing it. He's just married my cousin. <laughs> I am so sorry. Why? You've lost your man. And thank God for that. I could no more marry little Nigel than fly to the moon. Really? <laughs> Ever so, really. It was BC. BC? Before Chumley. Before I got my head out of the sand. Before I met you. Do you mean that? <laughs> no. <laughs> I was lying. <laughs> I can't stand you. What about my terrible reputation? Oh, once I'd heard it from Tom, I knew it couldn't be true. So maybe a kiss is not beyond the realms of possibility. Have you no sensitivity? I've just broken off an engagement. Tough. I suppose it is. Hello! <laughs> not disturbing anything, am I? No. No, just carry on. What do you want? It's her bottom. Quite out of the question. It's attached to the rest of her. The bottom of her boat. It's leaking. Nessie. Oh. So what's the damage? Well, propeller shaft is shifted. And there's a certain amount of trauma in the structure. Get to the point. It's knackered. And how long is that going to take to fix? 
ages and ages. Oh dear, oh dear. It was just glass, right? Certainly not. It was worth a fortune. You're kidding. I wouldn't wear rubbish. Watch that spot, Tom. <laughs> but I threw it away. It symbolises my past. Great symbolism. I love that. Keep watching that spot, Tom. <laughs> I did it for you. Oh, God, don't let it disappear. You're a real grub, Davy Jackson. Got that spot, Tom? Yes, boss. Right. Dive! 